Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I'm Meenuti Chatterjee with the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Young India will pay, play a key role in building modern India in the coming decade. Sharing his thoughts in Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio, Mr. Modi asks people to promote local products while making purchases. Home Minister Amit Shah reiterates government is committed to ensure that each paramilitary force Jawan spends 100 days with his family. JMM leader Hemant Soren to be sworn in as Jharkhand Chief Minister a short while from now. North India continues to reel under severe cold wave conditions. Minimum temperature across the Kashmir Valley and Ladakh stays several degrees below freezing point. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that Young India will play the role of a catalyst in the growth and development of the nation, sharing his thoughts in the 60th episode of Man Ki Baat program of All India Radio today. Mr. Modi said the coming decade will witness the active contribution of the youth born in the 21st century in the progress of the nation. He added that a proud nation eagerly awaits this generation to elevate the country to greater heights. Bharat mein yeh dashak. ये डेकेड न केवल युवाओं के विकास का होगा बल्कि युवाओं के सामर्थ्य से देश का विकास करने वाला भी साबित होगा और भारत आधुनिक बनाने में इस पीढ़ी की बहुत बड़ी भूमिका होने वाली है ये मैं साफ अनुभव करता हूं आने वाली 12 जनवरी को विवेकानंद जयंती पर जब देश युवा दिवस मना रहा होगा तब प्रत्येक युवा इस दशक में अपने इस दायित्व पर जरूर चिंतन भी करें और इस दशक के लिए अवश्य कोई संकल्प भी लें द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेट द यूथ हैव सेट न्यू बेंचमार्क्स इन कम्युनिटी मोबिलाइजेशन एंड इंस्पायर्ड अदर्स टू फॉलो द स्यूट इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स स्ट्राइकिंग एन इमोशनल कोड विद द पीपल मिस्टर मोदी रिकॉर्ड हाउ द एलमनाई ऑफ नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव बैच ऑफ के आर हाई स्कूल इन बेतिया बिहार ऑर्गेनाइज संकल्प a public health awareness camp for the local people at Bhairavaganj Health Center as part of their annual meet to give back to the society. The Prime Minister spoke about the Himayat program in Jammu and Kashmir under which youth have been trained in different trades during the last two years. Himayat is a skill development and rojgaar. In this case, there are 15 to 35 years of age of Kishore and Yuva. These are the people of Jammu and Kashmir who have not been able to study in any way, who have not been able to study in any way, who have not been able to study in school or college. In this case, in the past two years, there have been 18,000 Yuva in 77 different trades. In this case, there are about 5,000 people who are doing a job and there are many people the Prime Minister said it is very important for everyone that the citizens of the country become self-reliant and live with dignity. The Prime Minister called on people to buy only local products, prioritize them in the shopping, link local products with the status and pride and become a medium to bring prosperity to the fellow countrymen with this spirit. कम से कम ये दो तीन साल हम स्थानीय उत्पाद खरीदने का आग्रही बने भारत में बना हमारे देशवासियों के हाथों से बना हमारे देशवासियों के पसीने की जिसमें महक हो ऐसी चीजों को हम खरीद करने का आग्रह कर सकते हैं क्या मैं लंबे समय के लिए नहीं कहता हूँ सिर्फ 2022 तक आजादी के 75 साल हो तब तक और ये काम सरकारी नहीं होना चाहिए स्थान स्थान पर नौजवान आगे आए छोटे छोटे संगठन बनाए लोगों को प्रेरित करें समझाए और तय करें आओ हम लोकल खरीदेंगे मिस्टर मोदी मेंशन दैट प्रेसिडेंट रामनाथ कोविंद विजिटेड विवेकानंद रॉक मेमोरियल रिसेंटली एंड वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एम वेंकैया नायडू विजिटेड द डेजर्ट फेस्टिवल हेल्ड इन रन ऑफ कच गुजरात he said when the president and vice president are visiting such important tourist destinations in india it is bound to inspire the countrymen he urged people to travel and visit these places prime minister modi also called for understanding the ancient knowledge in astronomy as india is quite advanced in the field the prime minister said the indian space research organization which has an astronomical satellite astrosat is planning to launch a satellite called aditya to study the sun 
Some of the listeners expressed happiness over Prime Minister's call for use of local products. I am Bijan Mishraj. He has given a very good direction to the consumers of our country that we should encourage more local made products to be bought rather than foreign goods and that will not only encourage the local craftsmen and local producers to produce more but it will also generate demand for Indian made goods in our country which will lead towards development. My name is Dhruva Kumar. I am a law practitioner. Suggestion delivered by Honorable Prime Minister for the use of the local things in your daily life. It's a very good suggestion. I think it will enhance and strengthen the rural economy and rural technology technology and uh, the family concerned they will be benefited home minister amit shah has said the government is committed to ensure that each and every jawan of the paramilitary forces spends 100 days in a year with his family laying the foundation stone of the directorate general building of the central reserve police force crpf in new delhi today the minister said prime minister narendra modi has assured to take care of the families of the security personnel while they guard the nation humne tay kiya hai ki har sashastra bal ka jawan kam se kam 100 din apne parivar ke sath reh kar apne parivar ki chinta kar sake is prakar ki vyavastha hum karna chahte hain aur iske liye ek committee bhi banayi hai maine sabhi sashastra balon ke dg se सुझाव भी मांगे हैं एक कंप्यूटराइज तैनाती का सॉफ्टवेयर भी कुछ संस्थाओं को मैंने व्यक्तिगत तौर पर बनाने के लिए दिया है मिस्टर अमित शाह सेड हेल्थ कार्ड्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द फैमिलीज ऑफ द जवान्स एंड अर्ज द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स टू प्रोवाइड सच अ फैसिलिटी द होम मिनिस्टर सेड अ कमेटी हैज बीन फॉर्म टू वर्क आउट प्लान्स इंक्लूडिंग द हाउसिंग फैसिलिटी फॉर द जवान्स He lauded the contributions of the CRPF, stating it is the most powerful paramilitary force in the world. Mr. Shah also paid tributes to over 2,000 jawans of CRPF who sacrificed their lives in service to the nation. Director General of Border Guards Bangladesh (BGB) Major General Shafiqul Islam has said that the process of creation of the National Register of Citizens (NRC) is completely an internal affair of the Indian government. Briefing media in New Delhi, Major General Islam said cooperation between the border guarding forces of the two countries is very good, and the BGB will continue to work to prevent illegal crossings into India. A BGB delegation led by Major General Islam is on a bilateral visit to India to hold six-day-long DG-level border talks with their counterparts. The talks began on Thursday. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates visit our news on AIR app and follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. You can also visit our website www.newsonair.com. Jharkhand Mukti Morcha JMM leader Hemant Soren will take oath as the 11th Chief Minister of Jharkhand short while from now. Governor Draupadi Murmu will administer the oath of office and secrecy to Mr Soren at Morhabadi grounds in Ranchi. The JMM leader will head a coalition government with the Congress and the Rashtriya Janata Dal RJD as alliance partners. The alliance has won 47 seats out of 81 in the recently concluded assembly elections. Congress state president Dr Rameshwar Oraon and former Jharkhand assembly speaker Alamgir Alam from the Congress party and RJD legislator Satyanand Bhokta will also take oath as cabinet minister during the swearing in ceremony first meeting of the new cabinet has been scheduled after the oath taking ceremony former president Pranab Mukherjee Rajya Sabha deputy speaker Harivansh chief ministers of West Bengal Madhya Pradesh Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan and senior leaders of several political parties are among those attending the swearing in ceremony Vishvesha Tirtha Swami of Pejapur Math passed away in the coastal town of Udupi in Karnataka this morning Swami ji is the 32nd in the lineage of Pejapur Math following Vishwamanya Tirth Known for philanthropic work the Swami ji had opened several hostels hospitals and schools benefiting the poor Three days of mourning is declared in the state. This evening, the mortal remains of the seer will be interred in Vrindavana on the premises of Poornapragya Vidyapeet in Bengaluru as per the seer's last wish. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed grief on the passing away of Swamiji. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said Swamiji will remain in the hearts and minds of lakhs of people for whom he was always a guiding light. Chief Minister of Karnataka, B.S. Yadiyurappa, Union Minister Sadanand Gowda, former Minister Uma Bharati, among others, paid their homage to the departed soul in Udupi. President Ramnath Kovind will give away the Dada Sahib Phalke Award to veteran actor Amitabh Bachchan in New Delhi this evening. The award, named after the father of Indian cinema, Dhundiraj Govind Phalke, was instituted in 1969. The award is conferred by the government for outstanding contribution to the growth and development of Indian cinema. It consists of a swarn kamal and a cash prize of 10 lakh rupees. We have a report. The 76 years young actor has so far worked in over 190 films in a career spanning five decades. The Big B of Indian cinema made his debut in Saath Hindustani in 1969, but fame and recognition knocked his toe after the 1971 cult movie Anand and the road action comedy Bombay to Goa. <laughs> The soft hero turned into an angry avatar with Zanjeer that were followed by mega hits like Divar, Agnipat, Trishul, Kalapathar and the unforgettable Shole, while movies like Silsila, Satte Pe Satta and Namak Halal also established him as the sole industry leader. This thali pe tumhara nahi, humara naam likha hai. Kaana tum? Hum bhi wo hain jo kabhi kisi ke piche nahi khade hote hain. Jaan khade ho jate hain, line wahin se shuru hoti hai. Namardar! He made his Hollywood debut in The Great Gatsby in 2013 and till date continues to rule the hearts and minds of people. With Nisha Rane's report, this is Rupinder Korchavla for AIR News. North India continues to reel under severe cold wave conditions. In Jammu and Kashmir, the fringes of the famous Dal Lake froze as the mercury continued its free fall in Srinagar. The city experienced the coldest night of the season at minus 6.2 degrees Celsius. The Met Office said the minimum temperature across the Kashmir Valley and Ladakh Union Territory stayed several degrees below the freezing point, intensifying the cold wave in some areas in the region. The ski resort of Gulmark in North Kashmir recorded the low of minus 6.6 degrees Celsius last night. Pahalgam in South Kashmir's Anantnag district was the coldest recorded place in the valley, with the night temperature settled at a low of minus 10.4 degrees Celsius. Laytown in the Ladakh Union Territory recorded a low of minus 19 degrees Celsius. The nearby Dras town froze at a low of minus 28.7 degrees Celsius. In Bihar, the cold wave has affected normal life. Our correspondent reports that 16 people died due to biting cold in several parts of the state, including Muzaffarpur, Darbhanga, Madhubani and Sitamari during the last 24 hours. Gaya was the coldest place in the state at 3.4 degrees Celsius. Med Department has issued an alert for intense cold during the next 48 hours. In Rajasthan, Fatehpur and Sikar district, recorded the lowest temperature in the state at minus 4 degrees Celsius. Seeker recorded a minimum of minus 1 degrees Celsius. Minimum temperature at many places in Haryana and Punjab were 5 to 7 degrees notches below normal. Minimum temperature at many places in Haryana and Punjab were 5 to 7 degrees notches below normal. Several cold wave conditions continue to prevail in the national capital and its surrounding areas today with a minimum temperature settling at 3.4 degrees Celsius. Dense fog enveloped the city today, reducing visibility to less than 500 meters. Thirteen trains were delayed for up to six hours due to fog. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says young India will play a key role in building modern India in the coming decade. Sharing his thoughts in Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio, Mr. Modi asks people to promote local products while making purchases. Home Minister Amit Shah reiterates, government is committed to ensure that each paramilitary force Jawan spends 100 days with his family. JMM leader Heman Soren to be sworn in as Jharkhand Chief Minister a short while from now. North India continues to reel under severe cold wave conditions. Minimum temperature across the Kashmir Valley and Ladakh is several degrees below freezing point. And with that, we end the midday news.